So it's that time of year where I browse through all the beauty pages in the magazines and I see all these lovely still images of beautiful powder blue eyeshadow, really turquoise liner, really dark blue metallic shades that can be worn on the lids or the nails. And every year I always kind of buy maybe a blue mascara or just something kind of buying into that kind of shade for the season and then I try it on myself. I can use it at work, obviously, that's great. I've got loads of things. I'm actually talking just purely about myself today because I love colour. Um, but being blonde and fair, this slight hint of colour in the summer season, fake mostly, um, I always find that colour just looks a little bit cheap on me and I kind of wear it and I just literally want to scrub it off again. So I'm going to do a look which I haven't done for ages because I absolutely love the Marc Jacobs highliners and this is a matte one. The colour I've chosen is like a dark navy so it's not too vibrant but I'm going to match it with a Minna cream eyeshadow. Now if you don't know the brand Minna it's a fantastic brand. They've got a store in Covent Garden. They've got amazing colour cosmetics. I'm going to literally just go insane there and the texture's also really good. So I'm going to combine those two together and probably just stick on a neutral lip but I thought with the nails and the top it kind of it might work, but anyway, we'll just see. It might just be a uh, uh, and then we'll never go down the blue road again, or it might be something just a little bit fresh, so we'll see. Right, so keeping everything speedy, um, I've already done my base. I've used the Inicut BB Cream, which I'm loving, um, and a little bit of my favourite Max Factor Cream Blush in Soft Copper. I'm sure many of you know that I love and use this all the time. Brows by Delilah and Lots of Mascara by Max Factor. Epic. Right, okay, so I'm going to start with... Minna. Now this does look really bright, but it's um, it's going to blend out really beautifully. Excuse me if you hear my children behind. I have asked them to be quiet or at least relax for half an hour, but obviously that's not going to happen. But I'm sure you don't mind. I'm going to place that. Oh, look! It looks gorgeous. See the colour. Right, sorry. I had to go and sort them out because uh, they have gone to the Lido, which is uh, just down the road. I'm going to follow them later so I can continue with my eye look. Oh no, there's someone else back at the door again. Right, try again. So I'm just going to use that colour and once dry, these colours literally stay put. So go in with your blending brush and just polish it off. I'm not going to use it all the way up into my socket because it would be too much. I almost just want like a, like a little flash of colour. And then if I feather it, it's too much for me really bold and graphic like that but that's quite nice just on the lid like that on the other side just make sure you get it nice and close to the lashes but like I say once it's dried it really stays put oh I love the colour right buff it up might as well have a brush buff 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 quick work quickly work quickly. So if I took the colour up too much then it would just look really wrong so it's just nice to keep it as a sort of blown out eyeliner so long as you've got lots of lashes, the lashes really work. Right now we're going with the Marc Jacobs pencil which is so soft again you don't need to sharpen it, it's another propelling one and I'm just going to use it in my waterline, look how quickly that pigment goes in all the way and underneath lash line there and in the corner I'm just going to smudge it very slightly now I might just bring it in and blend it with the turquoise not too much but just enough to throw my eye forward a bit more a flat cotton bud and just soften that in so the colour just really comes from the root of the lash. Don't extend it out too much, there will be too much going on around the eye. On the other side, really pushing it, it's so soft, it doesn't sting. And just painting your waterline is a great way to shape your eye. A little bit under the lashes, smudge it into the top, get into all those creases, just keep pushing it towards the lash line. And then take the flat side of the bud and blend. Well, it's not making me feel sick or weird. Yeah, I quite like it. I might even put a bit more mascara on just to knock it back. I, mean, I might have done an overkill with the nails, the top and the 
the blue, but I think it kind of works. I don't know, sometimes it's really hard to see yourself, isn't it? Sometimes it's really hard to know whether you look good or you've ever done it. I'll have to ask some of my friends. They're always very honest, which is great. Right, let's just do another lick of mascara, just to push those out. Because as long as you can see the tips of the lashes set against the turquoise, then you're still keeping your eye shape nice and wide. You're not closing your eyes. I really love that dark blue, even just inside the eye. I've obviously gone quite dramatic, unlike me to overdo it. Um, but yeah, I think with the nails off, I quite like the dark liner blue inside. Even those lashes out a bit more. Great, what do you think? Well, I think it needs something really soft, almost like, um, like a Hepburn honey, Charlotte Tilbury, just nothing on the lips. Okay, let's just do that straight from the, mm. straight from the billet. I wouldn't put a gloss or anything like this. I'm not going to do a liner. Just create a nice soft shape with this colour. Such a pretty, pretty nude. Might see a bit ill if I haven't got a tan, this colour. But with a little bit of colour, it's quite nice. Well, I haven't worn colour in a long time, but I don't know, I quite like it. But I need to see what it looks like on the film, but I'm just gonna lay it out there. Please let me know what you think. Would you do it? Do you like it? Let me know.